Welcome back. National Assembly Speaker Nosevio Mapisa Ngakula has appointed three candidates to an independent panel that will be tasked with conducting a preliminary assessment of a motion tabled in accordance with Section 89 of the Constitution. The three candidates include former Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court, Sandy Lengobo, former Judge of the Gauteng Division of the High Court, Judge Togozile Masipa, and Professor Richard Calland, who is an Associate Professor of Public Law at the University of Cape Town. This panel will basically look at the Palapala farm scandal where President Sol Ramaphosa has been accused of being part of a cover-up, a claim which he's denied along with others. But the work of this panel will then be to determine whether there's reasonable grounds to institute impeachment proceedings against the head of state. Let's speak to Smul Mgwabe, who is the national spokesperson for the African Transformation Movement, a party that's been spearheading, so to speak, this process thus far. Very good afternoon to you, sir. Welcome to Daytime Update. Are you pleased with the selection of panelists? Well, uh, uh, good day to begin and the viewers. Yes, uh, we have no reason to, to, to question uh, this uh, panel that has been formulated by the speaker. In fact, we commend the speaker for taking almost just, just uh, two weeks to apply her mind and set up this panel. We, we commend that. With regard to the names raised, we, 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 we trust uh, the, the retired uh, Chief Justice uh, Sandy Lenovo. And, uh, and uh, former judge, retired judge, Masipa, we don't have a problem with that. And even Professor Richard, we know there are some issues around him, around him that he has made some statements, uh, which seems, seems to be uh, in Ramaphosa's side. But in this case, uh, this panel is expected to be independent, to work within the law, and he will not be alone with these three, uh, two judges. So we, we, we don't have a reason to doubt um, and, and question it. So you would not support a call that some have already made that Professor Richard Calland, who by, we've also spoken to on this channel as a political commentator, should in fact recuse himself. And it must be said that if you Google his writings, he's made comments both in favor and against the Ramaphosa administration. Well, as I'm saying, you know, we, 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 we are also of that view that... Um, uh, it can be challenged, but looking at time, these things take time. If we, we, we miss this opportunity, this thing must drag for another six months or seven months again. You know, everyone will always have these um, uh, weaknesses or things to be questioned, but in this particular matter, where these people are expected to work within the ambit of the law, to apply law without fear and favor independently, that is what we expect. But to, to say that maybe we must have delays and someone must rescue himself, we've got fears that more damage is being done when Ramaphosa is in the office. So the sooner we get rid of him, the better. Let's move with the panel and see how far we go. Mm. Because the yeah. concrete evidence provided by ATM gives us confidence that there is no other way that uh, the panel can find differently from what has been provided. Was Constitution has been violated in this matter in all angles. Look at section 96, 2A and B. 2A says the cabinet members, all of them, cannot involve themselves in any other paid work. This is a clear, clear statement that no one can change. Whether a professor is there or is not there, that is a constitutional clause that remains there. Mm. So we, mm. we, we don't have fears and um, we, we want to see this matter going ahead so that we move to the next step because the evidence we provided, no one can contest it. Processes in Parliament, especially where they involve heads of state, past and present, often become murky and tainted by the politics and mudslinging that goes on. Would you agree that it's important now that this panel has been appointed that all of you as political parties present in Parliament ensure that that aspect of the politics does not or is not allowed to taint the processes that this panel will have to follow because if that happens the risk it poses is that even if a report comes out there's going to be the possibility of another back and forth about the legitimacy and credibility of their work. That, that, that's our appeal that uh, all of us let us give this panel um, a time to do its job. As I've said, that these people are expected to be independent. Let's believe on that. These people are expected to apply the law, to be objective, 
not to, to, to favor anyone. That is what I expected. Let's give them an opportunity because, as I've said earlier on, the more we have President Ramaphosa as a head of state, the more damages and, and disasters are happening in this country. The sooner we get rid of, of him, the better. So let's, let's, let's give this um, a panel um, a, a, an opportunity to do its work because, as I've said again earlier on, the evidence is there. Even the president himself has admitted that um, uh, there was money in his, in, his, in his farm, though it's different in terms of the amount. But as we speak, me and you, there is no case, again, that is open in this particular matter. Mm. So everything that says to us, uh, uh, President Ramaphosa is, 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 is not fit uh, for, 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 for his office because of what has happened, is there. We have provided it. Well, the president does not entirely agree with you because, as we know, the multiple investigations into this issue have not produced an outcome on whether he was indeed, say, for example, involved in a cover-up or the storing of foreign currency against the country's uh, declaration rules to do with SARS, right? So if this panel comes back and says it does not believe there is sufficient grounds to push ahead with impeachment hearings for the president, what becomes the next step for the ATM? Where do you think you'll have to go next? Will you then pin your hopes on the criminal justice system? Well, though I've said and I still maintain, we doubt that they will find something different from what we think as a party. But um, obviously, once the, the report of the panel is out, um, whether it's, it favors us or it doesn't favor us, we will sit down with our legal experts, our own legal team as well, to look at certain things regarding the report. So for now, I can't uh, predict what will be the, the, our next step should the report uh, comes out and not favor us. Uh, for now, we are focusing on the work that must be done because there's nothing really that can be defended in this matter. If the president himself has admitted that he instructed someone ahead of his uh, security to investigate the matter, not reporting into the proper police station, as what the Constitution says. So those are the things that give us a hope that um, even the panel will not come to the different conclusion from what we have as an organization. Obviously, we have the legal teams. As things go, we get advices now and then. Smu Mwabe, spokesperson for the African Transformation Movement. Good to have your time, sir. Thank you.